Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So today we're heading north of the city of Shafki, where a bunch of the Merrick forces have moved south trying to break the siege on the city. We're going to shift our forces slightly and engage the heavy unit moving down a valley. Alright, well here we go. We've got the Merrick forces bottlenecked in this narrow valley. They're heading south towards the city here, so we're just going to try and take them out in this valley. I hope this works out. It's been a while yeah. since I've played uh, this lance, so I'm wondering... Is that a Marauder? Yeah, maybe a Marauder too. I don't know. Uh, so this is a four skull battle. Um, straight up battle. We'll see how we do here. It's been, like I said, it's been a while since I've played this lance, so... Um, just going to see how it goes. I kind of had to kind of go through all the mechs to figure out what we got. Um, I want to launch... You know, I'm going to reserve here on turn one. Let's see what they do. It's Fire Mandrill we're facing. It's clans, four skulls. So I'm hoping that we get some good fight in here. I'm expecting reinforcements, so there's probably going to be ten of them. There's eight of us, six mechs, two vehicles. Yeah, Commander. Now right, let's just reserve again. We got the firepower here, I think. Got a lot of long-range firepower. Yeah. That's ah, reserve. <clears throat> yeah, it's just marauders. Man, we got direct fire already. For you. I think we're ready to start attacking. That guy that aye, aye. moved up, These both these guys have moved already. I'm really hoping it's more than just these way. two marauders, but let's get the longbow on this first guy. Got a warhammer back here. Supernova. Okay, so we got some good fight. We got some good uh, enemies here. Do we want to go... We got thunder. Let's drop it in there. Thunder 70 should be really thick. See how those mines do. I don't know if we're going to get a lot of damage out of them, but we'll see. All right, Ice House. Waiting on you, Commander. And the Babcatha. Okay, we're not going to get what I want out of this. So let's move up to here. Pedal to the metal. This guy's got stealth systems, so we got incendiary, hydra, follow the leader, and standard. Let's just use some standard on this guy. Take a shot at him. We're LRM 50, so it's not too bad. Yeah, 20% is okay, I guess. Might as well get some early damage in. A little bit of instability, nice. Commander. All right, we got our thumper. Move up to here. Now, we can't really shoot back to where we dropped the mines, but we can shoot at this guy. So we got direct fire mode, flak. Okay, just regular thumper ammo, 40 rounds. Here you go. Nothing. That didn't hit? Nope, it did not. Ready for order. That's alright, though. Let's get these Ultra 5s up here. On my way. We got a fair number of Ultra 5s in this group, so I'm really hoping that that's uh, going to um, start weighing in heavily on these guys after a while. And firing. All four miss. No big deal. First turn's always a, always a shit show anyway, so. Okay, we got a bit of a chance to hit there. You know me, I like shooting my own guys in the back, so let's make sure we're not going to do that. Okay, we got range on those guys, but let's... Ooh, that's nice. That's really nice. We're going to Warlord this one, though. Get better chances to hit. Get some early damage in. Firing. Ooh, nice. Good to go. We got a big puncher coming up here. We got the Vulture still. Understood. I think it's out of we'll range for the MRMs from the, from the Hephaestos here. This thing is still... I, fi I feel this thing is still underwhelming. With the MRM 40 and two ER larges. Uh, I don't know. 
I'll have to figure a way to. Ooh, nice. Figure a way to get some more firepower out of that. Yep. But this vulture, man, I love this thing. A pair of vulture fives, pair of ER large lasers. All right. <laughs> Just use some control burst to drop our uh, the recoil problems. Okay, I'm on it. But enough for a knockdown, it sure is. It's gonna be worm food next turn, that's for sure. Who do we got left? Oh, the Nidhog. Hey. Yeah, let's not, um... We don't need to engage just yet. I'm gonna bring you up this way, though. Okay. I think we can probably go along this way. Stay hidden from direct fire, and then just kind of peek over the hill at the end there. Probably the best way to do that. Ooh, what's this guy? Annihilator. Ooh, 2C. Right here. Let's make sure he doesn't get a shot on us. Not until we want to see him. We're going to stay to the right here. Or sorry, left. You know me and my directional dyslexia. Uh, we go after this leg or do we go after... Headshot. We got 6% in the head. 44 in the legs. Let's go for the leg, why not? Um, yeah, let's gonna go let's warlord this. Wanna see if we can get this leg for sure. I don't think it's enough for the leg, but we might Oh, we got it. Never mind. Take it back. Solid connection on that one. Engine crit too, which is which is nice. That'll jack up his heat. All right. What do you need? Now the question is: Is do we finish off the guy on the ground? I'm thinking we do. Let's finish our kills. Let's not fall into the trap that we I always fall into. Good chances to hit here. Let's take it. Fire it. Nice. That was a torso hit. The armor. What's up, boss? Move order received. Festos. That's the supernova. Go after the leg. Hopefully, Last we get it. Yep. There you go. Nope. Well, good enough. We'll take it. Take out the take the bailout. We're only gonna get one part from that anyway, because I think we took the torso off. So, pulse lasers. That's not good. At least it's splash. Hey, I'm losing armor over here. Now, question is, he took 17 in the legs. Not a lot. What about the supernova? Now he took a little more. Interested that he's got internal structure damage though there. I hear ya. Do ya? Just walk it up. Now you are running pretty darn cool for a laser mech. How much incendiary do we have? We got plenty. Let's put some incendiaries on this guy. Gonna warlord it. I got a feeling if we if we stick him in fire, hopefully he'll. Oh, he's warmed up a little bit. Hopefully he'll start warming up. Ah, uh, maybe not. Looks pretty heat efficient. Okay, he took thirteen. Good to go. Location confirmed. Let's empty the thunder on this annihilator. That's a lot of weaponry. If we can soften up his legs before he gets out to fight us, hopefully we can pull his legs off and get some parts. What now? What now? You know the deal. I'll try. You got your marching orders already. And I don't think. Receiving you. Okay, it's getting the supernova. Okay. I'm just wondering how far forward we want to go. We got the range on these guys. 
And we got the targeting. Like, I mean, do we really need to move in? Got it. That was everything that hit. Like, honestly, do we really need what to move in? Fuck? We're gonna lose some mines when we fire this, but I want to see if we can knock this guy down. The shot. Come on, hit. Nice. Yeah, we lost a whole bunch of mines in here, but I think really it's the annihilator that we want to go after. I'm here. Um. Got a lot of armor. That's actually not a bad chance to hit. Up for what it's worth. We're gonna take a shot at this guy, and then we're gonna pull back and wait for when we need to go after the annihilator. I don't think they're gonna get reinforcements. Uh, let's save the quad missile pods. Let's fire one of these at him. Here we go. Ooh. Okay, that was a miss. Of course, I missed. Of course you did. Order. Orders. Get over here. Okay. Supernova again. Get our stability back. And firing. That should be a knockdown. Yeah, this lance is devastating an open battlefield. As long as our Ultra 5s don't jam- oh, I mean, if they, even if they do jam, we're still in a position where we can, like, Ready for order. pull behind stuff, right? Um, do we use you against the Hephaestos now that the, uh, Supernova's knocked down, or we finish off the- This guy hasn't gone yet. What are you looking at? Uh, hmm. Let's go for the torso. Try and clear half his weapons if we can. Scored critical hit. Now I think we can we go after the Hephaestos. Okay, you don't have a direct line of sight, so might as well keep on that supernova then. Tell me twice. Let's hold off on the incendiaries though. Uh, we have followed the leader, right? We do. 84%. Let's get the kill. Roger that. Firing on target. Yeah, man. Nice. Should have run when you had the chance. So if you don't know, follow the leader. Uh, commander. The ammo. Um, where are we going here? Let's go in the trees. Might as well. The oh, ammo. Um, wherever the first missile hits, if it as long as it hits, the rest of them follow in the exact same spot, automatically hitting. So it's great if you want if you got a good chance to take somebody's leg off or like like in that instance the guys on the ground as long as the first missile hits the CT the rest of them will follow. Crap. Our face though this really isn't uh, made for long range fighting. We got to get some better electronics in it. Yeah, I'm praying my sensors ain't going to do much, buddy. Not going to do much. Ready for order. Uh, you know what you're up to. Same thing. Um. Come on. Attack ground. Let's put them right here. Roger that. Yeah, they're only getting one lance out of this. So I want to thank the people in the Discord uh, that were mentioning about um, the different kind of missions available. Yeah. I haven't been reading up a lot of the notes, uh, and I should be on Rogue Tech just so that I know all the rules and all that stuff. But apparently they've increased Understood. the difficulties on certain planets, so that's why I think some of the uh, missions that I've been playing have been relatively easy. Um, because there's now there's like the five skulls. And then, and that's green five skulls, and then there's like orange five skulls, and then there's like red five skulls, and then there's purple five skulls, and uh, the farther you go up, the much harder they are. Roger. So when I was setting up this lance to come in here, originally, when I set it up, um, 
I was rated at um, orange half skull. How's it going? With eight guys. And this mission is a four skull mission, so I changed my lo I changed my loadout so it was, we were like we're at four and a half skull now, I think. That's a miss. Show me your war face. Hey. All right, buddy. Um, I know I said I was gonna pull back, but can we go after? That Natalie has got a lot of shit on it, though. I don't think I want to engage it until everybody else is ready to engage it. You say so. Because if it turns on the Nidhog, it's just gonna wreck this thing. We got a bit of height advantage with the Nidhog, but not much. All right, yeah, I think this is a recoil issue now with the 34 percent, but we're gonna fire anyway. Ah. No biggie. Next turn we'll pull back. Yeah, we got, what, six chev- five chevrons? Five chevrons of evasion, so it's gonna be hard for him to hit. Plus our height advantage. Ready for orders. Alright, uh, this is gonna be interesting. It's nice that we were able to get two early kills. Good to go. Bring our fire lance in here a little bit. Coordinates received. Now, um, we've just got standard ammo. Just gonna drop it on this guy. And try and clear this warhammer. Yep. Let's move. Yeah, because I was um. If you guys haven't checked out the Discord yet, go over to the Discord. It's for the Battle Report series, but anybody's welcome to go. If you just check in my uh, um, community feed on my YouTube channel, there should be a link there. Commander. And if you, for whatever reason, can't get in, just uh, put a message on either this video or on the uh, on the community channel. Let me know that you can't get in. I'll make sure I get your proper link. Um, drop this on actually let's leave these off and let's go ahead and drop this like here I want it, it's going to spread so I want it away from the wall so we don't get any, any up here and waste them I mean we're going to get a few of them up there but I really want them just in this area but yeah head over to the discord and check it out um because I was I played a match Long range I'm prepping a unit for um, the next battle report series and I was I was playing a match and I, I was on a red planet it was one skull and I didn't I thought red it's red one skull I didn't know what the red or the uh, sorry I guess it was orange I, di I didn't really know what the what the color meant so I was like oh well you know I'll just I'll go to this planet it's one skull it's perfect for my uh, battle rating so I went over there and um, right, commander. I did a one skull base defense mission. And I ended up facing Well my the the two units that I got that were to activate the turrets were both Raptor threes. With pretty good loadouts. They like they had Ultra Fives and stuff on them. They were actually pretty good. They actually lasted almost the entire battle too, which was shocking. I'm okay. But my original the original first wave lance was an awesome uh, an Atlas. Uh, Highlander and one other mech which got headshot at right at the very very beginning by one of the Raptors I it wasn't even on the map I didn't even see it the Raptors shot at it and then I heard an explosion and uh, it collapsing but I couldn't see anything because it was I didn't have visual on it the Raptor did I didn't anyway um, so there was one other mech I'm assuming it was a lighter mech nice did he lose stability? He lost evasive. Perfect. Um, but anyway, yeah, so it was kind of fun. Um, that battle ended up being really fun because I, 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 like I had a Thunderbolt. What else did I have? The Urban Knight. Anyway, you, you can see the what I have if you go over to the Discord. It showed the lance I had. But I ended up winning the battle. Their reinforcements ended up being another Battlemaster. A um, couple of flyers, which I took down. Uh, I think it was like a, um, wasn't a Nidhog. 
Cascatel and a Seth Stealth Bomber. Fuck. Guy saw me. He's got an Ultra 20. I don't like how this is going. Yeah, we're getting you out of there. Relax. Commander. Anyway, um, let's get over here now. So yeah, I, uh, what else did they have? A Devastator as a reinforcement, um, Avatar, um, Catapult. Anyway, it was a luck, all heavies, all heavies and assaults. And I thought for sure I was gonna lose that match. Like I was, I thought for sure it was over, right? right? But we ended up winning the match. They didn't weren't weren't able to take the buildings down. I took down the awesome both of the flyers. Um, one battle master, and I knocked the last battle master down the last turn, and then the, my turrets killed it. So I, 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 I had basically taken down two battle masters, and I was like, "Oh man, there'll be enough parts for me to put a battle master together." And then Unity crashed, and I got nothing out of the, <laughs> I got nothing out of the mission. It's like, it was weird too because as I was playing, I was like, "I should record this." I'm like, "Nah, I'm just gonna get, I'm just gonna get murdered anyway." So what, what's the point? Like, I had to stay behind hills the, almost the entire time, right? I was using indirect fire need? almost the whole time, and it was like, it was really um, Moving to position. a touch-and-go situation at one point. I was just lucky that, I, that the enemy couldn't uh, get their direct fire guns to bear on me. You really want that Nidhogg, eh? Fine by me. Anyway, it was a good fight, and then I logged back in to try it again because I wanted to see if you? it was just like an error, like a coding error or something like that. But no, it was actually worse the second time around. They had two lances to start, uh, two battle masters, and I don't even know what else. It was a, it was a wipe by turn three? Let's just put it that way. Oh, sorry, by turn four. Once their reinforcements dropped because they dropped directly behind me, time to um, it was over. They just wrecked me. And I and I even had two atlases that time. I, that time I had two atlases as my um, as my uh, engineer vehicles, and even with the two atlases, <laughs> they way. got trashed before they even got to where the to activate the turrets. That's how bad it was. They were dead before they got to activate the turrets, and they were outputting a fair bit of damage too. All right. Um, We go incendiary in this marauder, or do we save it for the? No, the annihilator is not going to survive. So let's just go after this guy. Eight. Not bad. Yeah, he's barely taking any damage to his legs at all. Oh, I take it back. I mean, it's slowly working its way through him. Done maybe like 60 damage, 65, somewhere in there. How about you? Oh, that's not bad either. Yep. Slowly getting through them. Receiving you. Alright, you're gonna sit. Roger. Venting heat and stabilizing. Alright. Um we gotta get to a position where we can attack. Everybody can move out in one turn. So let's get into here. I'm get ready way. for the next turn. Good thing they don't have a lot of indirect. Uh, Marauder? No, we're gonna go after the war hammer. Hmm. He's got two PPCs. Let's shoot this guy. Like, I mean, it's only an LRM-20. It's not a big, big decision. But yeah, it was an interesting fight, and that's how I learned that the red... That was a red one skull too, right? So What's up, boss? Now that I know that, I know what kind of difficulty to go for when I want to do the final battles for these guys. Cuz that would have been that base defense with what I have now. Standing by. If I had 12 units um on the battlefield, I think that would have been a good fight. I mean, we probably still would have won. But it would still be a really good fight because they had a lot of firepower on that on that battlefield. Alright, we go again before the Marauder. Order 
see. This thing's got a shit ton of armor, so I don't mind if the Marauder can see it. Hammering on with, with the uh, incendiary again. Actually, let's Warlord this. Here it comes. It. Oof. Well, there you go. Enemy down. Man. Yes, Commander. LRM-70, FTW, baby. Let's move over here. That. We'll get you back in, don't worry, you sound sad. At least you don't have an Ultra-20 shooting at you. Waiting on you, Commander. I mean, look at it that way. No That's threat. how I'd look at it. I'm free from the Ultra-20. Mm, what do we got? Standard, follow the leader, and incendiary. And Hydra. Let's go 30 Hydra. And 20 standard. And drop it on him. We'll get that we'll get some flames in there. Now Hydra's a AoE fires, so it, I'm pretty sure. So it should hit the annihilator as well, I think. Or at least spread flames everywhere. Yeah, it did. Okay, good. There's more where that came from. Yeah, we'll get you firing the same thing next turn, I think. Yep. Now, the question is... Okay, we're already in position to move on that guy. So let's just brace here. Managing heat. Yes, come forward, baby. Oh, he's turning his side to us, too. Alright, I, I thought he was, like, unstable there for Ready a second. For Nope, just brace it up. Holding here. Okay, we don't know what turn he goes on. Almost all of us go on 17. That's pretty awesome. Who's up? Waiting for orders. Let's reserve you. Just in case that annihilator goes before us. Advantage. Oh, he's into internal structure on one of those legs. Yep. Okay, we're gonna reserve again. All right, 17, here we go. I want to see who's got... We've got one, two, three... Three spots to shoot the Annihilator. Let's put our best best mechs on it. So the Vulture... Roger. Well, when I say best, the best one, the mechs are the best targeting. Okay, so we're going to control burst this. Do I want to OP it or do I just want to shoot this guy? Jesus, two LBX-20s, two LBX-10s. We know he's got slug ammo. Let's just hammer him, make sure we get the hits, make him nice and unstable, and hopefully knock his ass over. He's got a really low stability threshold, if you can, if you notice. Waiting for orders. Okay, not you. But you can go after the other guy. You got machine guns, so you do have ammo. So let's switch this to tandem, and maybe we cook off some ammo. Maybe. Let's find out. On it. Oh, two leg hits. That fucked him up. Oh, his leg's gone. That fucked him up real good. Hopefully our flyer can get in there. Okay, Tiger Tail is the next one that we want on the Annihilator. Can't get a better color than that, but we'll take it. Not bad. Okay, we're gonna Warlord this. And just straight up shoot him. Let's do as much damage as we can. Ooh, two leg hits. A lot of leg hits. Right leg destroyed. Oh my god. How much luckier could we possibly get? That was so lucky. What can I do for you? It's not gonna be a win, but um, what do we have here? The Hellbringer. So let's bring you over to here. Affirmative. Get on this guy. 
We were going to go Hydra, but we're going to go after the leg, I think. Gonna go follow the leader. We'll probably overshoot the damage, but got the mag shot cannon going as well here. 99% with the mag shot cannon. Let's just do it. Make sure we get the kill. There we go. Yeah, it's gonna rip his whole side apart. Yeah, well. Gotcha. Had to make sure we got it though. Orders. I don't feel bad about that at all. We're not going to move. We're going to drop incendiary on this guy. See if we can plink a head hit. Head or leg? Let's go after the head. Okay, so we did get a head hit on him. Yes, commander. We're going to straight up attack him. I don't care about the mines anymore. This guy's not really moving anywhere. Yeah, we did get a couple head hits. Try for the leg shot. Locked on target. Nothing. Nothing but cleared the mines. Standing by. Too far away. Copy. Oh well. It's better that you stay alive. I don't want you to die. I was really hoping for reinforcements. Receiving you. Alright, retriever. It's up to you, buddy. Position confirmed. Much as I want to go for headshots. Straight up go for this. Tandem's on. Fire it all. Let's hope for it. Nope. Inflicted some heavy damage. He's not moving anywhere. That's a good thing. But he's got all his weapons to bear on us. That's the problem. I just wonder which target he's going to shoot for. Legend kill. Oh, have faced those. Really? Wow, we got real lucky there. But I mean, he yes. was knocked over and he just kind of got up, so. Yes, command. Let's try for that leg. Everything I've got. Ooh, shit. Ammo explosion. Tangled. Well, let's see what parts we get. Mission successful. Alright, we made a little bit of money off that. I don't think we took too much damage. Did we take any? Oh, we took a little bit of damage. A couple of shots hit us. A couple PPCs landed. Oh yeah, and the AC-20 hit, but that doesn't really count though. So only one Annihilator part, but we can take a Marauder. Three Marauder 2C parts. 85 tons. I don't think we can say no to that. There's a lot of cool parts here, but... I mean, we're nearing the end of the series anyway, so this isn't going to make that much difference. I don't know if I'll be able to get this back into, like, battle. Maybe we take the LBXs then. LBX 20s. Nah. Do we have any of these? We've got one. We're not using it now, so... What's the point? Clan ER PPCs. I mean, if we could find four tons in the face dose, we could go double PPCs. I think the problem is, is I can't sink the heat, right? Well, let's just go with this. Let's see what we got here. An extra Marauder part, ER laser, a couple of large pulses. LBX-20, not bad. Uh, we don't need that cockpit, so we can just sell that. Clan XL, we can sell, because we do need the C-bills. Fire control system standard can go. We don't have any feral clans, we'll keep that. Assault jump jet we'll hang on to. That engine can go. And the LBX ammo we'll hang on to. Uh, never mind, we got lots. Alright, perfect. Alright, 56,000 for repairs. That's nothing. That's nothing. Alright. So, yeah, if you guys haven't... Um, if you never really checked out the last battle report service we did, the battle for Lassa, um, that kind of concluded. It was really just a, a experimental test to see if that... Um, that kind of battle report series would work or system I guess you could call it um, made a whole bunch of adjustments we learned a whole bunch of stuff from that um, and made a bunch of adjustments so we're starting the series up again it's kind of some of the uh, the, the core units that were in that first um, series will be in the second series 
and I'm kind of gearing it to, it's mostly community involvement, story kind of based, um, but it's the opportunity just to pl kind of play Battletech with a bunch of uh, people that are, are similarly interested and, you know, affect the course of a, or results of a, uh, um, a battle. There's kind of a long-term campaign going to be going on. I'll do a, I'm going to do a video kind of describing the whole thing so if people are interested they can hop over and check it out. Um, I'm trying to gear it so that there's enough to do for people who want to get involved and play maybe once or twice a week and or those who want to play daily. Um, so there'll be enough for everybody to do. Everybody can be involved and, and kind of do their own, um, well, not, not necessarily do your own thing, but be involved in like um, at your own level kind of thing and still feel like you're contributing. Um, but yeah, that's that's for after this uh, series. Once this series is done, that one is going to be what I'm going to be focusing on. I'll probably be doing a playthrough based on um, the lances that I have for that series. Um, I've got two that I had in the first um, first series, and they're going to be continuing on with this one. So, um, so yeah, they're going to be involved, and those are the ones I'll probably follow the storyline for the next. Um, Rotex series that I do do. So yeah, but I'm going to end this one here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can hop over to the Discord. Check the link in the uh, community tab on my YouTube page. Until next time, we'll see you later.